All right, y'all. It's about ten minutes to ten minutes to one p.m. here in VA. It's about time to go. Head to the airport. Want a little spin of the room? You know what I'm saying? It was just a little something, something. Uh, about to go head to the airport. I'm already pre-checked in. Um, I gotta check my bag in. I'm not even gonna go through everything I was talking about earlier, because either way, I'm gonna have to pay this. I'm gonna have to pay this thirty dollars, so I'm gonna just get it and get it over with. But um, how are we gonna check y'all on the plane, man? Or the lobby? Cause I'm gonna have to wait for at least an hour and a half. Let's go. Make sure you don't loot. You don't forget nothing, cause once you check out. Although I got the late checkout, they don't keep your card active. See? I ain't getting back in there. Right? You ain't getting back up in there. You ain't getting back up in there. Checking out of um six seven eighteen. Eighteen, I think. Are you one of the Rosses? Mm-hmm. Um, are you gonna fly back or drive back? I'm flying back. Can I get the um a shuttle to the train station? Yes. Sorry, six eighteen. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Seven, yeah, cause it, yeah, cause everybody else is gone. Yeah. Is Jennifer Ross gone too? Uh, they're all up. They're all up. Yeah, they're all gone. Okay. Shuttle pick up from Wingate. Shuttle back now. y'all well i'm back here at the train station i had to go catch my train just got dropped off by the shuttle i figured there would be a lot more people here you know hold up just drop my sprite i figured there would be a lot more people here seeing that this is right after the holiday i figured there'd be a lot more people going home but take a look at this air you take a look at this train station the train station is empty now, compared to the vlog that y'all see when I was coming here, this trip was mad full. And I was on, I believe that was on a Thursday. But it's mad empty now. And this is right day right after a holiday. So, unless everybody left this morning, I don't know. But there ain't nobody here right now. So, but head on out and go do what I got to do. Whoa, whoa, snap. Almost lost my bag. So I think that's the train, because this is the last stop on the line, so. I think this is the train I gotta get on. Yeah, because the seats are blue. And it's a blue line train. So, if I get on this train, I guess to go to the airport. I mean, if I got, if I get lost, I do got plenty of time. But it's time for me to catch my flight. So, 
Washington before uh, actually twice and each time I find something different you know what I'm saying uh, one time I came here with a group one time I came with a friend of mine uh, she was thinking about moving out here and the third time I came with my family so you know it's cool to you know what I'm saying being able to come down here again and experience it you know what I'm saying but you know all right, everything else all things must come to an end the good thing about it is that I ain't gotta go to back to work next week. You know? And still collect the check. <laughs> and, uh, and <laughs> yeah. Crazy thing, you know, like, it's like, yo, do you have to pay to get on and get out? I wasn't really paying attention when I came, but you gotta tap the card just to get out. You gotta be kidding. And it gives you a balance? Oh man, so you gotta pay to get on and you gotta pay to get out? What kind of shit is that? I've been using my phone as a camera, but for some reason, like when I came out here, like the footage was cool. I was getting a lot of footage off of this, but the memory is going somewhere. And I thought it was because I had like mad footage used up, but I've been downloading all the footage to my hard drive, my, mo my mobile hard drive. And um, I don't know, man, I'm still losing memory, so. I only got the airport and the plane, the, you know, whatever I shoot on the plane, and then um, my oh my gosh, she is cute as a, she's sexy, let's put it that way, I was going to say something else, but yeah, uh, what's up girl, yo, you know one thing I didn't do when I was out here, usually, not because I'm a flirt or anything like that, but usually I come out here and try to meet, not here, but like places I go, I try to meet people, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I find I try to meet girls. You know what I'm saying? And when I do, I don't do it for the fact of trying to have different 
O's and different area codes. I said O's, I didn't say the H word, but different area codes. But what, you know, what if you come back here and you don't come back with the same group or you know, same people? It's always good to connect with somebody um, in a place that you're not really, really familiar with. Granted, this is my third time being here, and, but the people I know live up in Baltimore, which is further away from where I'm at right now. Not too far, but you know, just to have something close by, you know what I'm saying? So let's get in this airport and check in this bag. I don't want to, I could have used this $30 to eat something, man. Now I got to give it to the damn check-in counter damn bag. Damn, she's cute. Let me see if I can get her. She's TSA, so she might not like being on camera. Now I ain't going to put her on camera. But, mm, she is fine, though. So actually got attitude, though. I don't know. I don't really like girls with attitudes. You know what? Forget the women. I mean, not forget the women, but I need to be trying to find me one of these. Forget the TSA workers. I need to be trying to find me one of these flight attendants or, so better yet, a sexy female pilot. You yeah, know, that's what I'm looking for. The good thing about this train ride is that the train ride brought me right to the exact terminal that I need to be in for my flight so i just need to go somewhere real quick because i want to make sure that i got everything i need vlogging wise that i could put in um make sure i got like the wires and stuff i need um when i drop off my bag so i think i could drop my bag off here i already got my boarding pass and all that so let's say it does say bag drop, so I'm assuming I could drop my bag here. Uh, I already know I got to pay for it, but saying that I'm already checked in, I should be good to go. So, we'll see what happens. y'all so it's about 10 past four my flight is at five um so i'm about to head down to my gate chill over there until it's time to go i, I did before this before i started videotaping i did go to get a some a bite to eat i had to dump some um old video footage off my phone because it was slowing my phone down and i couldn't get the shots that i want uh, but prior to all this while i was coming through um well, I was coming through TSA, this young kid, he had to be at least, I want to say maybe 14 or 15, had a seizure. It was, looked pretty major at first. He had a seizure in the line, you know what I'm saying? And um, it, was, it was pretty bad. I didn't tape it because, you know, that's something a little bit more personal. You know, you know people, some people like to see that on certain vlogs. I don't really get into all that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody having a seizure, you know, that seizure. Luckily, he did come out of it uh, while we were all in line because medical personnel hadn't even been there. It was just like TSA agents and like, uh, I guess you'd call it Washington police, maybe, were tending to him at the time before any, um, for anybody medical uh, showed up. But... He went into like a major seizure. He did come out of it though. Um, it took him a minute, but he recovered. And you know, luckily he was, seemed like he was all good and everything was fine. Um, I don't think he got his flight, but uh, yeah, like I was, and I literally, I had just, cause he was like on. So when you go through, um, when you go through TSA, you know how you gotta go through like the the rope, you know, the rope, um, they have like the, the lanes. Let me go back down here. Let me go head to my gate. They got the lanes, right? They got the lanes that you got to walk through. So I'm on the outer lane. I'm on the, yep. I'm on the outer lane. He's on the inner lane. And um, I'm actually, so I'm passing him. I'm passing him from behind. And um, as I'm passing him, I get like maybe two feet away from him and he goes into like a major seizure you know it was a little scary it's actually kind of bad but like i said he did um he did come out of it everything was cool and hopefully wherever he is right now he's all right so 
head into my gate. About to get on the plane and um, head back to back to the beam. Yo, know, there was I I came. I went over to customer service for my airline because it was a flight that was leaving at three when I got here, and um, asked them if they had w. any earlier flights, but there was no flights available. So she says, but I know how to. I mean, I work at the airport, so I know how to read the screens when they um, say, you know, if there's any free. Yeah, I can tell on the screen if there's free seats or not, and there were like three, but. I don't know. She seemed a little shady anyway. So we'll just leave it there. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna catch you on the plane. You ever take a flight somewhere, right? And you leave from your home state, and you, you know, whatever, you know, whatever state that is, and you're flying to say, let's get, let's, let's get, I use myself for an example, saying flying from Boston to Washington, all right, just like how I did this past trip, right? Boston to Washington. Do you ever see people on a flight that you know or recognize at all? And then when you get the flight back to your home state, like we're flying back to Boston now, do you ever recognize anybody on the flight? That shit's weird to me. Like, nobody? Maybe it's just a wild coincidence, I don't know. But I see the people that's going to Boston that's gonna be on my flight for this five o'clock flight. I don't recognize not one person, not that I should, but I don't recognize not one person on that. Boston is a big city, but it ain't that big that, you know, oh yeah, I seen him walking around or something like that. Like, there's nobody on this flight that I know. Nobody. Oh well. It's my gate right there. D43. So, and wait a minute, that's going to Hartford though. I don't know, like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm ain't right. So I'm ain't right. So I'm ain't right. Hold on. So I'm ain't right. I gotta check my ticket again. Hold up. So the gate I showed y'all earlier, D43, they actually switched that gate to D37. But my border pass is something different. Now, if I would have sat over there, I would have missed this flight. That's actually going to Boston. And I would have ended up in Albany somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, they sent me a boarding pass for D43, but they come to find out it's supposed to be at gate 37. That's some BS. Yeah, these people be, these people rude as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna mess up my gate and then get rude when I ask you if you got, if I still got the same seat and all that? You know what I'm saying? If I was a female, I would punch them in the face. Rude. Bad enough, I got 9A damn window seat. I don't want no window seat. I'm trying to be on the aisle just in case there's some action.
Back in the bean, unfortunately. No, no, nah, nah, it's cool to be home. I thought it was gonna be raining when I got here, and I see a little colder. So I actually dressed pretty good for um, what the weather is out here right now. But back to reality. Back in the boss. Back in the bean. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed the vlogs, man. Like, comment, and subscribe, yo. You know what I'm saying? Stay with me. Got more vlogs coming. Like I said, there's also a podcast coming. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get back into doing some filming work. So, yeah, man, stay up with me, man. Your man Jinx, show be easy.